Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Tide here, and it, it's happening. It is it is going to go down 100%. In my opinion, there's just no way that this... I mean, everything that we've heard from Certain Affinity and, you know, kind of the leaks and stuff just really point to this 100% happening, and that is the Halo Infinite Battle Royale-esque game mode. And Jez Corden was on a podcast. Uh, if you don't know who Jez is, He's pretty much, he's very reputable. He's a very um, well-known, he's he's trusted. Um, personally, you know, I I would trust him with pretty much anything. I mean, his track record is fantastic. But uh, this is the uh, TLDR. Um, I will link the podcast. Um, it starts, you can go down to the timestamps at 2.15 um, when they start talking about it. And he just drops like bombshells, but it is a battle royale. No matter how they spin it, I mean, that's the, the type of game mode it is. Been in development for over two years, which makes sense. I mean, again, these leaks and stuff have been persistent. We knew that there was something else coming. Uh, is a huge deal, considers it a Warzone separate game undertaking, which I hope all the naysayers for the Battle Royale side of things will uh, take into consideration because everybody's like, I don't want 343 working on it. I want Arena and BTB and Halo to be fixed and stuff. And I understand that, so I hope that this kind of makes you feel better that it's not 343 specifically working on it, and it's a, a whole other company. So the goal is to bring in new players into the Halo franchise. Well, that should be something that's being done already, but that's fine. Fortnite, Warzone, Apex, duh, believes it's targeting Season 3 or 4. Uh, season 3 would be if... I, I don't know if Season 2 is going to be delay or season three is going to be delayed i guess and season two will be six months like season one uh but that would kind of put season three would be so far out um i guess like closer to when uh halo infinite's like beta launched in november so maybe that's what they're gonna do like the one year anniversary uh ties in the forge mode i don't know i don't know i he says fortnite creative yeah, I guess. Uh, they brought in certain affinity for the specific mode. Don't think they're going to ignore the rest of the game. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Uh, some other things that I've heard is that certain affinity might be using the Unreal Engine to create this game mode, which would mean that uh, a lot of the engine issues that we get with Slip Space would probably be just completely fixed. Uh, so, like, desync and things like that, which would be pretty cool. Uh, they talk about you'll be able to use all your cosmetics and unlocks that you have in Halo Infinite into the battle royale game mode which is pretty cool to me um yeah i mean i'm i i know a lot of people don't like the br and halo thing and that's fine i understand i think this is the best case scenario i think that i hope that it's good um i think halo needs a couple wins right now uh between how the game has been and the TV show and whatnot, um, I think that this could be a fresh start. I think that like Season 3 is going to be a huge reboot just for the regular game mode, or regular game, um, Arena and BTB and stuff. I think that that's kind of what's going to happen. We'll get Forge, and you know, I, I, I really think that that's going to be the reboot for the game. And they'll drop this, and you know, if it's good, it's going to grow Halo. And I think at the end of the day, if you're a Halo fan, that's kind of what you want. You know, you want people to enjoy Halo. You want Halo to be successful. Um, and if you only like Arena, then you're still going to have Arena. If you only like BTB, you get BTB. But now the community will grow, and um, I think that that's a positive thing. If one thing is su successful, then they can, you know, put resources and money into other things, and all ships rise with high tides is kind of my opinion on that. I'm excited. Go watch the uh, the full thing if you want to. They're, they're playing Titanfall 2 in the background. That makes me super sad. Um, but it's, it's definitely worth a listen to because I think a lot of the problems that people have with the BR and Halo is kind of fixed in, in how he talks about it, what they're, uh, what they're trying to achieve with it. So um, I'm excited. We'll see what happens. Man. Season 2 is in a couple weeks. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel. I'm sure some of you are upset. Um, if you like Halo content, please give me a sub, man. I'm so close to 10K. 90% of you don't sub to me, and that hurts my feelings. So I love all of you. I'll catch you in the next one.
Peace.